Whether you operate one forklift or thousands, one location or hundreds, the new My Toyota customer portal can help you optimize your operation and material handling equipment. This one-stop, free-to-use platform is designed to help you take control of your information and make smarter decisions, all at the touch of a button. Register and access your data today at my.toyotaforklift.com. That's my.toyotaforklift.com. Hi, this is Kevin Lawton of the New Warehouse Podcast, and today's safety tip is prepare your facility in anticipation of bad weather. Many of us are experiencing snow during the current season, but may also be experiencing other weather-related conditions throughout the year. It's always good to be proactive at your facility in these events instead of reactive. Salt your outside areas, adjust schedules for employee arrivals, constantly monitor accumulation, and keep up with snow removal in order to prevent any slips, trips, falls, any type of accidents, and putting any of your employees in danger in any way. And remember to definitely plan to spread out your workload in the event that employees may not show up or may not be able to make it to work. So make sure you're being safe. In these weather-related conditions that we experience throughout the country, throughout the world, and make sure that we're being smart about the way we are going about doing these things to make your warehouse a safer place. With e-commerce off the charts, many small and growing warehouses are asking, how can I get ahead when my warehouse is barely keeping up? The answer is future-ready warehouse tech from Zebra Technologies. Warehouses can simplify and upgrade all processes, from automated inventory management to hands-free picking with Zebra's tailored, scalable mobile solutions. They're simple and intuitive. There's never been a better time to upgrade for success with Zebra. How can your warehouse get ahead? The answer's in black and white. Get the answers at zebra.com slash the answer. That's zebra.com slash the answer. The New Warehouse Podcast, hosted by Kevin Lawton, is your source for insights and ideas from the distribution, transportation, and logistics industry. A new episode every Monday morning brings you the latest from industry experts and thought leaders. And now, here's Kevin. Hey, it's Kevin Lawton, and you're listening to the New Warehouse Podcast. On today's episode, I wanted to briefly talk to you about the top five things I am looking forward to at Modex in Atlanta this year, 2022. We are just two months away now, with Modex being the week of March 28th, and I cannot wait. We will be in booth C4277, that's C4277, and we'll be doing interviews right there on the floor like we have done in the past. If you are interested in joining me for an interview at Modex, please email me at kevin at the new warehouse.com. That's kevin at the new warehouse.com. Or stop by the booth during Modex so we can meet and maybe potentially also get you to pop in for a quick interview. We definitely had some attendees just kind of uh, stop by the booth and, and jump on the microphone for a little bit the last time as well which was a really great interaction and great to to meet people and hear about you know what they think about what's going on on the floor as well also if you are interested in advertising your booth on the podcast please reach out as we have opportunities available on the podcast episodes leading up to the big show so get in touch with me and reach out kevin at the new warehouse.com that's kevin at the new warehouse.com and we can definitely uh arrange something whether it's advertising or you want to be a guest on the show or you want to meet at modex and talk about modex and all different things warehousing or, or talk about anything i'd love to meet you guys and definitely come out stop by the booth that's c4277 and we'll certainly be talking about that more as we get closer to modex too so now what am i looking forward to the most well being in person of course uh, I cannot wait to get back on the floor. See all the great warehouse and technology solutions in action. It has been two years now since we did this, Modex 2020. 
In fact, when I was in the airport on the last day of Modex, they had just actually made the announcement that Atlanta was closing the public school system due to COVID. And my, some of you may remember, uh, there was also some exhibitors that were dropping out and, and people were going home early. It was kind of really the big start, I would say, of the pandemic and COVID was like that week and the week after was really when everybody just started to kind of shut down. So little did we know at the time how long uh, this would last. So it will certainly be very interesting to see just how everything is kind of advanced in the industry over that time. I mean, two years, is, it's a long time. But many of the guests that I've talked to in the past year They've certainly commented, and if you're a listener, a uh, regular listener, you've certainly heard this as well. And they've commented that, you know, they've advanced their technology roadmap by as far as like five years. So uh, a lot of people, I think a couple of people said, you know, they're, the technology that they were planning on uh, kind of utilizing or, or exploring in 2026, uh, I mean, they pulled into 2021 just due to the pandemic and just to be able to keep up with demand from uh, e-commerce traffic and just be able to adopt to the climate as well. So it'll be great to see all these advancements in in person and, and really kind of, you know, see what things are thriving now as, as we come out of the pandemic, hopefully coming out of the pandemic. But It'd be really interesting to see all these things and, and, you know, definitely see them in person as well. And finally, you know, get some interaction with people in the industry in person. And, you know, a lot of people are looking forward to to meeting in person and do, doing so much uh, virtual and remote stuff. And it'd be really great to, to do that. So the next thing I'm excited about seeing is robotics. And I know, I know everything is, is robots, 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 but What I'm interested in seeing in the robotic space at Modex is is how they've kind of evolved since the pandemic and also hear from some of the providers on how much customers have really adopted robotics during the pandemic due to labor shortages or just whatever the case may be. How much has that really grown and grown and, you know, how much are customers embracing robotics more now? And additionally, you know, I'm really interested to hear how robotics companies are continuing to collaborate and and expand on interoperability as well. I know Mass Robotics took on a a huge initiative there in doing that. But one of the biggest takeaways for me, and I I talked about this on the show, Modex 2020, was the larger growth in collaboration among companies. You know, there was so much collaboration going on. And if you walked around, you'd see, you know, at certain providers booths and companies booths, you would see other companies, things in their booth as well. And all this exchange of kind of technology and, and growing together to, to give our industry like the most robust technology and, and solutions possible and, and just making smarter, smarter advances in our industry. So, so I'm really interested to see how has that kind of grown and expanded over the pandemic and in what else we can kind of expect to see from, from future collaborations and, and how that will how that'll continue to grow over the next couple of years and really kind of bring our our industry into the even though i mean we've been evolving like crazy in the last couple of years i'm um, just in the next couple of years see how, how further it's going to evolve by these collaborations kind of you know pushing each other it's interesting because i think you know a lot of times you see in in industries and, and markets that competition is really kind of like pushing the technology forward but i i think in a sense somewhat in, in our industry and and you can tell me if you don't agree with this I, i'd be happy to hear and talk to you about it but you know I, it seems like the collaborative nature at least on the the robotic side is really kind of helping to push the technology even further forward which is a pretty interesting thing so so definitely interested to see that um also, I've kind of been interested and in kind of my, my visit to DHL Innovation Center really uh, piqued my interest in this a little more, seeing a couple of examples there and then kind of seeing some other things going on on, on LinkedIn um, about exoskeleton. So I'm, I'm curious to see kind of how that's developed. I think it's something that is pretty interesting because, you know, you look at some of our issues in the industry with 
labor shortages and, and things of that nature. I mean, if you're able to enable workers to, I guess, work more comfortably uh, in terms of lifting weights and being more ergonomic in that sense by utilizing some of these exoskeletons, uh, you kind of open up the the job pool a little more for these types of jobs because now it's not as heavy as it once was. Um, so it's not maybe as as difficult or as, I mean, it's still manual picking up, but not picking up as heavy of things as, as before. So, so it's certainly something that was popping up last time at Modex. We actually had, um, I wish I could remember the name, of the company, but they were just a couple booths down from us and it had something that I got to try out a little bit, which, which was pretty interesting, but I've definitely seen some other additional players kind of starting to surface in the market. So it'd be interesting to see how everybody's kind of differing and really, you know, what the, the market is leaning towards a little more. I know like the last time, you know, Sarcos had a very interesting booth in the terms of well I guess it was interesting in like it's uh simplicity of just like kind of showing off the Sarcos suit and you know it garnered a lot of attention because of that but I'm definitely interested to see some of like the lighter duty exoskeletons as well and and how they function and what people are really getting out of them and and hopefully you know I'll be able to suit up in in some of this stuff as well and you know give it a try and and kind of get that feedback to you guys in a little review. So definitely interested to see that, you know, obviously a safety big thing. We always share the safety tip on the episode. Um, so obviously exoskeleton is kind of addressing one of the, the biggest safety issues that's out there is which are back strains and all different kinds of strains from, from lifting improperly and lifting things that are maybe too heavy for a, a single person lift. So exoskeleton is definitely a, a help there. So so hoping to check those out and, and see them. If there's any that you recommend, please let me know and I'll check them out and maybe even try and get them on the show as well. So if you got any info on that, please send it, Kevin at the com. And another big thing, uh, well, Big, big thing, but but smaller thing, I guess, technically, um, that's on my radar for 2022 is micro fulfillment. And I, this is on my radar because I, I think this space is very poised to grow and to be, you know, completely kind of efficient on its own. It will definitely need some interesting technology to kind of help it maximize its potential. And I know... Some people out there like uh, Auto Store and I think Fabric as well are, are utilizing technology to help with micro fulfillment scenarios and, and solutions, which is pretty interesting. But it'd be interesting to see what other types of technology are kind of coming into play as well. Obviously, you know, we definitely talked about micro fulfillment on the show with Ohi and um, also talked about micro fulfillment in, in India in one of the early, early episodes, uh, which is a very interesting episode if you go back and check that out. But, you know, I'm interested to see how some solution providers are kind of addressing this trend and not just how they're addressing, but also to to what extent, you know, if this is really kind of being recognized in the industry as a, as a big thing coming up, I think personally that that it is. And, you know, I've seen some reports recently that there's a lot of potential growth to happen. And, you know, one interesting idea behind this and kind of I think I've discussed this with a few guests on the show before is certainly you know looking at the current retail landscape and and how do these retail stores that have you know kind of I want to say obsolete but have been vacated in a sense in the in the typical brick and mortar model you know how do they get kind of taken over or, or transformed into these micro warehouses, micro fulfillment centers and, and get products even closer to the customer and be able to provide faster delivery times and, and just the overall different customer experience, especially as you know, customers are, are very much wanting things faster. And, you know, the things that we have begun to, to order more frequently, we'd expect to have sooner like groceries and things of that nature especially as the pandemic has kind of changed a lot of consumer behavior so so it'd be really interesting to see i think at modex you know how micro fulfillment is being 
discussed and talked about and and addressed as well you know from a from a solutions perspective so i'm definitely very interested in that not just at modex but 2022 and and beyond to see how that kind of grows those are some of the four things that i'm looking forward to seeing and then of course you know the last one very cool keynote speaker i think this year in the man himself shaq diesel um shaquille o'neal will be speaking keynote on wednesday the 30th march 30th so i'm definitely very interested to hear him speak and what he's going to talk about i know he's like a you know very funny guy very um entertaining guy but the one thing about him that's really interesting is that he he has like diversified himself so much it's pretty crazy and i I don't know if you know you've seen like on the internet there's jokes and things about how he is just like everywhere like he does like so many like sponsorship deals but it's pretty remarkable really how he's able to kind of diversify himself into into that type of uh, businessman and you know have his hands in so many different things so i think it's really interesting that he's a keynote speaker and it'll be interesting to see what he talks about and also just kind of how he addresses i guess the the warehousing world and you know what type of kind of motivating words and and things does he have for us i'm definitely interested to to check that one out but then, you know, definitely interested to see everything else and everything that's going to be happening. And, you know, like I said, number one, certainly just interested to be in person again and very excited for that. And, and you know, being on the floor and really, you know, interviewing people in person. I, I don't think I've done an in-person interview for the podcast since... Um, yeah, since probably since Modex 2020. To be honest, if I, if I think through it, most of them have been remote and, and virtual, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's certainly great to sit down and, and talk to people as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to Modex 2022. It is March 28th that week, Monday through Thursday. And like I said, we're going to have a booth there. The new warehouse booth will be there. C4277. That's C4277. So definitely come by, check it out. We might have some swag maybe, trying to figure that out now. But definitely happy to have people kind of pop in and and jump on the microphone too as well just to talk about their thoughts on Modex and what's happening in the warehousing world and our industry. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions, interested in uh, getting involved in the podcast at Modex in any way, just email me, kevin at thenewwarehouse.com. That's kevin at thenewwarehouse.com. And you can always go to thenewwarehouse.com for more information as well. As always, thank you for being a listener and hoping to meet some of you in person at Modex in March. You've been listening to the New Warehouse Podcast with Kevin Lawton. Subscribe and check us out online at thenewwarehouse.com. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want more content from the New Warehouse, check out our new video series called All Hands on LinkedIn. Just search for The New Warehouse on LinkedIn and follow along.